Chilling. You chilling? You know, I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to do too much of that. I just wear it because it looks good. Ew, I'm melting. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Oh, Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I want my store credit now. I want my store credit now. Fuck out of here. Get the lows away from me. So we Get the lows away from me. Oh just came out back in 05. You guys got these in the eight? This is brand new. This is you right here. Oh, brand new. Nice oh, wow. Come on, man. Real sneaker heads know about that wow. shit. I'm the first rapper to ever come in Cool Kicks and shoot it off the first basket. Big Draco, nigga. <laughs> This nigga. <laughs> this is the real, real legend. Trying to be this guy. Hey, listen, before we get to this video, man, we got a lot of ice on, man. Talking about your drip check. What you got going on today? Um, I'm just chilling. You chilling? I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to do too much of that. I just wear it because it look good. What you got over there, man? Chill, man. Fed the oars. Some Travis Scott's. Some, some local brand that sent me this shit. Looks right, man. That's all it's important. It's a beautiful bro. Wednesday. It's hot outside. <laughs> today. Let's get into it. It's your first time inside Cool Kicks, right? Yeah. What size? This one. I've been to the other one. You've been to this one. What size shoe you wear? Eight. eight. Man, what we got for him in size eight? Let's get some some trip, man. John the man. And I know Tori Hoops. We had Uzi right there and Slow making time. Quarantine right here. Bro. We, we got two there. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. What up, what up, bro? What's up, brother? Yeah. 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 Eight and a half, yeah. Yeah. Uh, or eight, I mean, right. unless you want to buy it on the seat. Brand new? Let me see. Yeah. 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 It's like I have a lot of kicks that I just throw away. I don't really ever really keep kicks like that. You wear them once and that's all? It's just like I have like whatever I'm siphoned with in that moment, in that season of time. Yeah. Those would be yeah, a little bit big, but they could probably work. Stash to the side as a potential? What'd you say? Stash to the side as a potential pot? Yeah, for sure. Most definitely. So far, it's probably one of the best shoes in the store. You never go wrong with these. I really, nah, I went this, it's crazy because yesterday, that's how that's how the whole shit happened. Cause I came in to find these at the other store. Oh yeah. And then it was like, oh, you gotta come and check it out. Now we got some shit in here. Yeah, you might have the craziest ice that's ever that's came in the store, bro. That ass. You got some I'm shit chilling. on today. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm chilling. Cool little cool little shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit that I've been having for for a while. Just caught a couple rings. Where that hoodie from? That hoodie spot. Um, I don't know. Some some brand I got noise from just now. I literally just bought it just Add now. Shout out to them, man. DM me if you're watching <laughs> this video. I'm one, I'm one, I'm one, I'm one of those too. They got some, this one is some black shit that was fire. So when it comes to sneakers, what's your preference? You like J's, Yeezy's, um, Off-White? Like what you, what you I into? I love J's. Dunks? Uh, dunks, but I don't like low tops. I don't really ever wear low top, low top dunks. You might have to fuck with a Hawaii. We got a, um... Yeah, I got you. Yeah, you might maybe fuck with a Hawaii joints. Cool. Yeah, they tear off too. And they change colors too when you start yeah. wearing them drinks. To me, it's about like how kicks look like when, when I look down on them. Because I, I think about the jeans like laying over them, so I be thinking about like, you know? Yeah, this is, this is cool. cool. But you got a stylist this year you yourself? I always just dress myself. I go shop myself. I'm I like to be normal. I don't like to Straight have up. somebody just, you know, picking everything I wear. I just like to go see it and be like, yo, I fuck with this. Sure, this that's how it's supposed to be. These just came out too, some Jordan 1s, the Shadows. These are Dunks too, the little Syracuse high top joints. These are hot. You got a size of any of the Syracuse highs, um, Leo? You got any Yeezys in your collection? Uh, I don't. I used to wear them probably like two years ago when I stopped. I haven't really got a new pair of Yeezys in the last sure. like two years. I love Ye though. Shout out to Ye. Shout out to Ye. Shout out to all the success in his company too. in the building, man. My God, appreciate you pulling up, sir. We got some more for you in the back, bro. Everyone's just talking about themselves today. He's a real legend. <laughs> you a real legend, man. We got some more. I don't know well, how you feel about nuts. the classics. These are nuts. OG Cool Grays. Those came BBs. out back in the day. Let's put that to the side. I see you wear Nike, but you heard of the New Balance? Oh, I'm not too big on New Balance. He's just coming back, bro. They smooth. Just something slight. You throw with some sweatsuits. But if you don't like it, we can skip past. Come back to it. These are cool. No offense, New Balance. Let's see. 
What about the fours, the tope joints? These, these are incredible. Just cool. These are incredible. Nice smooth brown. This is nuts. Matte color. These are definitely clean. Neat. Let's put those to the side. We got two so far. We'll put these new boxes to the side. I don't know if you got these already. These was the, the union joints, not the hoop ones. You hoop, by the way? Yeah. Cool. Here, Bucky, I heard. We're going to come back to that. We're going to come back to that. <laughs> We're gonna discuss that later. These, the union joints. I've seen these, and for some reason, I, I never caught them. But I always see them when I just, I, I never. Too many colors, or what you think about it? I don't know what it is. But you know what's fucked up? Today, I'm gonna try a them, and I'm gonna wear them in like my next shit. I like that. Somehow, it's a way of fucking shit together. Somehow, 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 I don't know. I don't know if you like dunks, but we'll ask him anyway. This was the new Nike joints that just came out, the Supreme ones. I ain't gonna lie, these are so these are so cold. I just I just don't like low top. So you more of like a high top dude, right? I hate low top. Let's see what else we got. This design on these is crazy. Let's see what else we got. Do people still come in here and lick the bottom of their cakes? Or nah, niggas, it's over there. To be honest, bro, it's, it depends on how old, old you are. If you're an OG, you know, ones that came out, maybe something like this, the De La Souls. This oh came out back in 05. God. You guys got these in the 8? This is brand new. This is you right here. Oh, brand new. Size eight. wow. Come on, man. Wow. Real sneaker heads know about that wow. shit. Wow. That's older than most sneaker heads, man. These okay. and the, it was these and the, uh, I think it was the the titanium the shits. I know you're talking about too. Remember they had the, the, the Dino Juniors? Yeah, yeah, the Dino Juniors with, yes, the, with, the, you know with, the, with the silver and the purple. Oh my God. You know? Hey, let me see, see if I got those, bro. What's how, what's how you get? If you have those right now, I'm going crazy. Like, crazy. Y'all, it's over. Like, Let's it's see, over. Bro. Let's see. I've been looking for those for Let's mad see. long. Could never find them again. Nah, so don't get my hopes up over here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you gonna crush my heart. We gonna try to make I don't know if I could deal with heart. What's the most you ever think you spent on a pair of shoes? From designer, was it like some rare Jordans? Or something? Nah, I think I'm trying to think of like something recent. I bought, I bought those blue, the blue off white uh, ones. Yeah, or the, like forces. the forces. Oh yeah, MCs. Yeah, it's just, it's just like well, at least they charge. They charged me like I think it was, it was like two, two stacks or some yeah. shit like that. Where do you usually go shopping for like shoes? They got you got a spot out in Miami. You say Miami, nah, right? Bro, I'm a nigga who just doesn't care. Like I will go find wherever. Shit, wherever, and I don't care about it being like the top name brand. Like, yo, yo, to everybody out there, at least I want my fans to know, like, yo, you don't have to be in the top shoe. Like, if you just like a, a shoe, just wear it. I don't give a fuck. I wear some shit from the middle of the mall if I think that's just hot. That's just me. I just don't care, you know what I'm saying? But I will never ever like, I was never a person who like would wear the fake shit because I couldn't get the real shit. It's just like. I'd rather just find something that I connect with and something that I rock. You feel me? No, I just real. get shit from everywhere. No, that's because some people just wear shit for comments or the hype, just because yeah. other people doing it. Yeah, no, but if you no. fucking with it, just just wear the I shit. Lie, bro. I did have the dinos, but I don't know if you remember these, man. This was the oh. one that came out with the platinum too. Hey, don't um, where where mid at? Mid, don't mid, don't you got these? Didn't you have these? Didn't you have these? I still have those. Yeah, yeah, right. got good shoes. Good shoes, Classic. Very classic. Mork and Mindy SBs, man. Classic. Let's see what else we got there. This is the box for that one. But well, now my heart has now shattered it my bad, in a man. thousand million pieces because he, you know, made me feel like I was going. Why he lead, he lead you on like that? <laughs> Hey, it was close though. I ain't lie, it had better but, uh, but but nah, but see you was and you was in the right place. These are, These are crazy. A little animal safari vibe. These are crazy. These are the bod bodega dunk eyes. These are I never I've never seen these before. When, when, when did these come out? I think these came out probably about maybe six to seven months ago. They these dropped a the dope collab. They dropped the brown colorway and then they also dropped the cream one. That was the F and F. What does the cream one look like? Uh, let me show you a pic, bro. I, don't, I know we don't got them right I'm now. I'm fucking with this. The only thing that's blowing me is the um, cheetah print on them. The cheetah? Is it still a bit of Nah, cool. But those be something around. Wow, these are crazy. Fuck it. Yes, sir. We're going to keep those to the side, too. So, so, so far, far we have these, So far, right? like these? You got a I lot have to get these. Gold, this is not even like this. Is... Oh! Let's see. see what else we got. I think we got some Perfect. more. Perfect. see what else we got. We got some more in the back, right? Yeah. Oh shit, I'm so sorry, you man. Good, we got insurance, you good. <laughs> I'm gonna get an invoice from Tori later. You say you don't like, you don't like the design too which, much, which, right? Which, which one is it? I think this one's gonna be the Lowe's, man. That's the size? These already. No. No. Ew, I'm melting. Let's see what size this get one Get the Lowe's away from me. Uh, you good on these, or we <laughs> doing the Lowe's? Get the Lowe's away from me. Yeah, he's Lowe's. I'm melting. What, what about the highs? <laughs> I, I know we had some Lowe's in the back. You got him in the highs, for sure. Let's see. 
you remember these, right? So remember the other one we was looking at? Mm. The De La Solo? Yeah. I mean the highs? These are actually, actually low versions of those. These before. So this is the one that changes like with the, it's like the effect on it. I forgot oh, yeah, what it's called. Yeah, that's, that's dope. The holographic, but we gonna look for some more hot tops. Cause I know you tired. Like remember when you I used to go to school, you had the agenda, the little noise, the agenda. <laughs> <laughs> this new generation probably don't know about agendas. They don't know about they probably the got their iPads like, looking at their like, schedule. Like these ones. These are cold. Size eight. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Ski. Yes, sir. Ski. Yes, sir. Ski. Oh, you do got them, no, dog. Motherfucker. Crazy. Crazy. They got these in the nine, but I knew where it was. Oh, my life. I got these. Oh, my God. You don't got those. I do got these. You didn't have them from high school. I didn't have these. You still have them? I still have them to this day, right now. All right, I ain't gonna lie, son. I admit it, son. This was the only pair of shoes that I got that was fake, son. Because I couldn't get the real ones, son. When I, when I was younger, I couldn't get the real ones, nigga. I couldn't find them, nigga. I got them shit straight off of Stepworth, nigga. I'll never forget that. It was the only ones I ever copied in my life, nigga, that was fake. I told him before, I was like, I never ever copied them. I didn't. But those ones? I never caught, can never find them shit. All right, man, this is what we looking at so far. You picked out some good sneakers. Some good joints. I'm still not really sold on these ones. Still not waiting on these? Alright, we'll keep these down for now. Let me know though. You, know, you, you are you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Oh, you, weakest link. Like, right. you gotta you gotta see. You gotta see the picture of the blue Oh, show them the picture of the blue The Hawaii Hawaii joint underneath of them? We got the little uh show the joint. That shit is sick. That might get them sold though. Like when you tear it away. What do you mean? Like this can rip off. So you can either cut it off or you can like. Or you can leave it like this. How it is. That's what I did in my joint. You got grass. So this is my joint. Stuff. I did that too. So you can do whatever you want. I'm not understanding. So this material right here, it rips off. So you can kind of just make your own joint to it. You want? I got you. But what if you ever want to put the material back? Oh, now it's over. And so if you take it off. Oh, that's just what's under it. This is what's under it, yeah. So it's meant for you to rip it off and like have like the orange tone is on this part, that part, that part, and this part's green. Wow. Hey, Sweat that joint out though. That is some bullshit, nigga. <laughs> shit ain't sell me, nigga. No, I'm just fine. That shit is fire, though. I ain't gonna lie. That shit is dope. So I recently seen something about NFTs and you. What's, what's up with that, man? Talk to me about that. So, um, can I get some practice shots? Uh, practice shots while you ask about the NFTs. Not on tape, not on tape. Basically, nah, I did the first uh, unreleased music NFT. And I got it, like I got in it when it was like very, very new. Nobody really knew about it. And there was probably only like, at least from major sale like perspective, there was like, I think like three or four people that I had seen like, just do like crazy shit. Like Logan Paul had the little Pokemon card that had did like six million. And it was all kinds of crazy shit. And I was like, well, like, let me try to add like some kind of something to this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Music to the, to the, to the photos or the art or whatever it is. We put some stuff together. And when we did, I put it out and it made 500,000 in 90 seconds. And we didn't, it wasn't on, on my mother's life. It wasn't no like, we bought back the, it was like, you, we didn't, I didn't have a chance to buy my own NFT because it sold out so fast. The demand was crazy. And I didn't expect it to sell out that fast. I, I didn't even know what the fuck was going on. Right. I was just trying to see like, you know, what this world was and see if people would care about the music in this world. And so like, for me, you, you gotta think is if, if if I'm releasing music today in today's time and I sell 500,000, that's yeah, like going gold. Nah, you know facts. what I'm saying? Like, but to go to in, in in the crypto world, it's like I went gold in 90 seconds. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's 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 crazy. It really is crazy. That's sick. So you plan on doing more music that way? Like more albums that way? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm about to um we about to drop um these things called ENFTs, and basically it's with this company that I'm with called Immersive, and um we're about to drop the first like augmented reality uh, NFTs. And that's why they're gonna be called ENFTs because our co company's called Immersive Stuff. So basically like the way that we're gonna have it, not only is the music gonna be crazy, but like technology behind this is like the first ever. It's like, it's historic. And it, the dude who does it with me and the dude who's in my company is actually the, the, the founder of Call of Duty, like the co-founder of Call of Duty, David Kovac. So he's the one who came with all the technology to do it. You know, he's also the guy who had the first like 
VR game. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like his mind is just crazy. So like now we got that coming and then I'm gonna do it with the, um, when me and Chris Brown do our, our little that's tape. Like, that's a good friend. We gonna make sure that we have an NFT side, an ENFT side as well. But yeah. we do that, so. That's what's going on. Now you had a curve. That's where the real money's at. Nah, I like to be the first, bro. I like to be the first to do a lot of shit. And I do be the first to do a lot of shit, but like, I'm not a nigga who's gonna go and go too hard at saying I feel like when the people see and they go back in my accolades and they go back at the things I did, they're gonna be like, whoa, I didn't even realize that this nigga was doing this from this time and this time. And you, you, know, were, you was the first to entertain everybody during this pandemic. How did that go <laughs> about that quarantine radio show? was crazy. Yeah, nah, nah, Talk nah, to me about that. that shit. Nah, I mean, it was, it was just us just kind of having a good time and being ourselves. Like, for me personally, when the pandemic started, I was like, yo, if you're not a talented motherfucker in this time or we're entertaining Why motherfucker at this time, like, yo, it's over. But I knew that when we started, it was actually me and this dude, uh, Mid Jordan. And we started out with like this, like, <laughs> you can't catch me, nigga. <laughs> and we started out with this, uh, we were trying to song clash. Yeah. It was like, it wasn't even like that. We started out trying to song clash and artists seen it. Bryson Tiller called and somebody else called, Jack Queese, I think it was, and then we were song clashing and then it just turned into this thing where like artists were calling and then girls started twerking and then wow. later on milk came and all kind of stuff. That shit was crazy. Milk was wasted and poured and uh, people uh, buying sections uh, yeah. virtually through his quarantine. Wiz, Wiz would clock in and be like, I just got his table. I remember seeing that shit, that shit happened. Nah, we had everybody good, like, you know what I'm saying? I made sure that the club was lit, you know what I'm saying? The sections was full, the weed man got in all the time. It's cool. <laughs> uh, it's lit. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Oh. Hold on, wait, 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 I want my store credit now. I want my store credit now, fuck out of here. I want my store credit now. I want my store credit. I already know how this shit works. Nah, and don't even hit me with, don't hit, hey, don't hit me with, oh, don't hit me with, oh. Oh, uh, if you, I didn't tell you the rules. The rules are, yo, you got, you got about three chances in the line. One I'm practice gonna give you shot. the store credit. I want my store credit and my sneakers. Yo, my man, give my man some sneakers. But then he said that he yeah, got some no practice oh, shots on camera. That's what you said. That's what you said. No practice shots on camera. And he said no practice shots. So I waited. I waited till he was done the questions. He did say that. You're right. So I'm a man in my word. I'm gonna give you. How much? How much you giving him? Fifteen hundred short credit for that shot. Fifteen thousand short what? Huh? Oh, yeah, that's coming. That's gonna be no lights in this bitch. I'm just fucking with y'all, man. All right, so this is what we do. Fifteen hundred, but let's actually do another fifteen hundred on a lot. Two shots while the camera goes. He must have prior experience hooping, man. Cause nah, I don't. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna miss these two shots. That first one was luck. All right. All right. Oh. Yo, y'all gave Polo G three shots. Fuck out of here. <laughs> oh! Oh, you funny as shit. Hey, first, first one at Cool Kids to get the jump shot. First, I'm the first rapper to ever come in Cool Kicks and shoot it off the first basket. Big Draco, nigga. Hey, so <laughs> AKA the creator of all things. Big Draco. Uh, you actually just went independent, also, too, though. Congrats on that though, that's lit. Thank you, bro. That's Thank actually like, a lot of people don't understand the magnitude of that though. Yeah, no, nah, I mean. So be able to do what you want to do, your own time. I mean, this shit is different for me, you know what I'm saying? I'm an artist that, as an artist, I do something more than most other artists do. Like other artists have managers and things like that. I, I don't have a manager. What y'all niggas is seeing is, is me. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But don't get me wrong, I got a great team. You know what I'm saying? And like. As a captain of my ship, I was able to put together the people that need I, that I need to put together and outsource and have as people that are also in-house people that are family to me and that I work with. And so, you know, beyond a lot of the steps and a lot of things that other artists, like they're not allowed to do or they're not allowed to, it's like, nah, I'm in control of everything. You know what I'm saying? And I, I also co-manage or manage all of my artists too. So it's like, I do a little bit more than the average artist. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but nah, it's good though. That's very important, man, for everybody out there. That's important, man. Take care of your people, work hard. Cause you've been at it for years, like years. Yeah, 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 it's crazy. Oh, oh, cause the first, the first song I heard was The Mission. Yeah, that's crazy. So that, that was, was like 10 years Yeah, that, that was probably, 12? when was The Mission, mid? 2012, 
2012. 2012. That's like 12, right? 14. Yeah, 2013, 2014. It's one of those yeah, years. Eight years. Yeah, eight years. It's hard remaining relevant for that long, man. It's crazy. Yeah. I, I always, I always, I always find it funny because it's like there's, there's a lot of things that I never ever did that other artists have done, but I somehow still stay like relevant, like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't get to go to the award shows and shit like that. Like before at the time, I'm just saying just in general. Like, like I've never been to the VMAs or like the AMAs or any of those things yet. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like in my eyes, I'm just getting started. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like some stuff still be new to me. Like you feel me? But like that's where I'm at now. Now like a lot of that stuff that allow me to do, I can go and do AMAs and do the VMA. You know what I'm saying? And be at certain award shows and like show my face now because I got a bigger level of notoriety than I had during the other years. But. Compared to the TikTok songs and stuff now, this is hard work, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fox, it's real hard work. It's all Challenges and shit. Right, it's love, man. I, I just, I love being able to put out good music and like people just fuck with my shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and hard, heavy fans that like heavy umbrellas out there that it's not playing about me. Like not playing about anything umbrella, you know what I'm saying? So it's lit. I mean, summer after summer, you was dropping hits though. The chick's tape was crazy. Yeah, that's that brought back a whole new layer of like, damn, we forgot about these joints. But with that spin on it, took over summer though. And the people, yeah, yeah. Some people, a lot of a lot of the new millennials don't really understand a lot of those. They don't know a lot of those people because they weren't this age at that time. You know what I'm saying? So I just be trying to bring back that nostalgia, that feeling, that shit that make you feel good. Yeah, very good idea. That's all it be. Like two worlds, bro. Doing like the older and like the newer. You know, like you said, like some of the millennials didn't get a chance to really listen to the OG joints. So now that they know yours, you exactly. And then kind of like be like when people are like, "Yo, you don't even know that when they with they older cousin in the car or something." Like, "Yo, you don't even know this is the this." And then they go show them and they got that. You know, they got a moment. You know, it's like it's it's. But then you added a feature to it. Exactly. 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 Legendary. He's only talks you get at Cool Kicks, man. No cap. Mm -hmm. No cap. Not Ro scripted. Real gems. Unscripted over here. That's it. All right, so what we got over here? We got some potentials. What caught your eyes? Which ones we want to take home? More than anything, I think I'm going I'm to I'm have to take these. These. And I'm loving these. These two right here? Yeah. Let's get it. Bodega? Actually, let me get the bodega. Yeah, you need the bodega. And then, uh, not these, right? The purple joints? What, um, purple? I got that one. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see these. I, I didn't know that they was, wasn't was on the, um, so, the, 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 so these purple the, the, ones, these, these. And then, they like cool off these. Um, no, I want, you want those? I want all five. So there's all these. Man, he, he leave with some heat today. Let's see what he got. Bodegas. Fire. High top. De La Souls. He's cool. I like low tops better, personally. Nah. High tops. You like high tops on it? Really? Cool like grays. Cool grays. Core purple 2.0s. Hold on. Wow. 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 So if you see these on in any video, you know you got some cool kids. And these. Oh, so pay for it. Not bad. We got some Hold heat on. Let's see. Listen, we got a real legend in the building. Tory Lane's pulled up, blew a crazy bag, but cop six pairs of shoes. Going crazy, man. Before we end this episode, I know your, your whole journey throughout your career has been crazy. You got any words of advice for any up and coming artists that might be taking the same path you took to get Yo, to where you are today? Stay consistent. You know what I'm saying? More quality than quantity is important. And stop giving a fuck. Don't be a soft ass bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Stick to your word. And when you get popping, don't start moving like you too popping to fuck with the little niggas on the ground because one day the little niggas on the ground gonna be more popping than you. That's just how it works, you heard? Gems. Hey, I appreciate Tori pulling up on me, blowing a bag of cool kicks, man. So everyone out there, we finally hit a million subscribers. Like yeah, this video. Today's the day. Today's the day, man. <laughs> like this video. Comment. You know all that Six little bullshit. And, <laughs> and to everyone, thank you for kicking with a cool. Peace. I already know.